Are you struggling to find ways to sell your product and create more sales? Here are 10 ways in which you can create more income by just selling one product. One of the biggest lessons I have learned in business is do not put all your eggs in one basket because you always need to create multiple sources of income whether you're running a business or if it's for your personal life as well. So today what I'll be talking about is 10 ways or strategies in which you can sell your one single food product. So as you know I talk about food products because that's my personal experience and I've been selling you know food products for the past 15 years in the UK. So let's dive into it. So first we are going to be starting off with B2B sales or business to business. Number one retail stores. So you could sell it through your local Indian grocery stores or it could be your convenience stores. Again, I'm talking about, uh, you know, the UK stores that we are uh, going to be selling. So it could be Nisa, Cost Cutter, so any of those independent health stores. Or if you're going to be planning for any premium stores, it could be Planet Organic, it could be Whole Foods Market if it's organic kind of products. Or you might even be targeting the bigger health stores, which is the, uh, you know, Tesco, Asda, Sainsbury's, Waitrose, or you could even be targeting the discounted stores, which is Lidl, Aldi, and uh, those range of stores. The second way I used to sell my food products was through food service customers. So food service customers comes under the hospitality industry. So which could be you could either be selling it directly to the restaurants or you could also be selling it through the caterers like it could be the event caterers for uh, let's say for weddings or it could be for any corporate events or even supplying to the offices. So you could be planning in the food service industry. The third way I used to sell my products was through home wholesalers and distributors. So you can either contact these wholesalers and distributors who are supplying to the retail shops and also the wholesalers and distributors who have contacts or uh, you know the network for the food service customers. The one thing you need to be careful when you are selling to directly to customers and also to their distributors or wholesalers is that you know there shouldn't be any overlap of the customer base. So let's say you are selling it to I don't know one of the Indian grocery stores or maybe maybe Planet Organic or Whole Foods Market, you shouldn't be selling it directly to them and also through their distributor or the wholesaler. Then what happens is, you know, you might create a price war because obviously you have to give margins to these distributors and wholesalers. So the price which you provide them might not be the price which you provide directly to the shopkeepers. So you might create a price war amongst your own product and it could, you know, affect the relationship with the distributors. So that's something which you need to keep in mind. If you are contacting the distributors, make sure to check out or speak to them and understand who is their customer base and who are the shops they are selling to so that there is no overlap of these uh, customer base. The fourth way is directly selling it to importers. So this I would advise mostly for your initial stages of business and again in my consultation clients I keep suggesting as one of these ways because if you do not know much about import export, the paperwork and the rules and the regulations it would be easier to supply to the importers who are based in that country so that they can take care of all the logistics and the paperwork and the you know the customs procedures and everything. So you can find out who are the importers of those products and then supply directly to those importers. So fifth way is by using a website called Alibaba. Again for me personally Alibaba has never been, been successful with sales but I have tried there. What I've done is I have listed my products because you've got many verified members there so make sure you go off to the verified members and see how long they've been in the industry and you have uh, you know suppliers from all around the world if you want it from India or if you want customers in the UK whichever country you will be targeting so you'll be putting a post or advertising your products there and you'll get inquiries from around the world but you have to make sure you verify those people who are contacting you through Alibaba website. Sixth way of B2B selling is through selling on online grocery stores so as you know since especially after pandemic we have lots and lots of stores who have started off their online presence so if you are looking to sell your products through online see who are the you know customer base that you would need to target so you can reach the end consumer so selling through online grocery stores now let's come to b2c or business to consumers which is directly to the consumers the first way and the most 
I would say the easiest way where you can keep in touch with the customers will be to selling it through your own online or store or your own website, which is called e-commerce. So what you will be doing is you'll have a shopping cart, you'll have all the products listed on your website and you will be directly selling it to the customers. There you could decide you can even sell it in small quantities or even in bulk quantities as well. So only, you know, for me, I haven't used that because there were restrictions as my product was frozen and I couldn't, you know, it was very, very expensive to sell the products online and then the logistics and the local courier charges, it was very expensive. So I never sold it through my own website or e-commerce website. Or you could use other e-commerce website or the platforms like uh, Amazon, eBay or Etsy. And uh, you, when you are using Amazon, one you know service which they provide is called Amazon FBA, which you might be already aware of. And that will be worth taking it because um, if you are using their fulfillment services, then they'll be doing the fulfillment for you and they will be doing the delivery as well. And sometimes, you know, it will also be worth taking the prime because people expect their deliveries to be on the next day or even the same day these days. So Amazon FBA is one of the platforms you could use. If again, there will be a lot of, um, you know, they'll have their fees and they'll have the charges as well. So you need to see the commission that they're taking and if it's really worth selling your products there. The ninth way is by using social media platforms. So you've got several social media platforms and as you know, it's free and uh, you know, the most cheapest way that you could promote your products or even bring your brand awareness as well. You've got the Facebook groups, you've got the WhatsApp groups, you've got Instagram, uh, you know, shop as well. You can, you've got Facebook marketplace, you've got YouTube where you can promote your products and sell your products. You could use maybe influencers or, uh, you know, you can create recipes with influencers. You can use LinkedIn if you want to build up your B2B presence or, you know, connect with the other professionals. And the final and the 10th way where you can use to sell your products is obviously as you know through exhibitions or markets or fairs that comes up so exhibitions again there could be b2b exhibitions and b2c exhibitions as well so there are many b2c exhibitions where you can actually sell your products by putting up a stall b2b exhibitions you mostly will not be able to sell your products but you can build up your customer base and get more distributors or wholesalers for um, your product and um, if you are you going to any market fair or if you're going to any school summer fairs or church you know fairs where you have all those kind of things you can that could be used for again for marketing purposes and selling your products and building up your customer portfolio and expanding your brand awareness so these are the ways which I have personally used for my business to bring different streams of income and also to bring you know more brand awareness and testing the market so you can use all these for different um, you know know uh, strategies actually so it will be always good to see that if you found this video helpful please feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell and also like the video as well and share it with anyone who you find it helpful and also if you can leave the comments below on saying that if you found it found this video helpful or any questions you have please leave me a comment and i'll be more than happy to answer to each and every one of your comments so i'll be coming soon with another video wish you all the very best.